The final step in determining the new levy limit for a year is to compare the subtotal that results from increasing last year's levy limit by the annual 2.5% and new growth factors to this year's levy ceiling. As we said previously, the levy ceiling is the maximum amount the levy limit may be in a given fiscal year. It is a constraint on the size of the levy limit. The law sets out this formula for calculating the levy ceiling. The total assessed valuation of the community's taxable real and personal property for the year is multiplied by 2.5%. The levy ceiling is a dynamic figure. That simply means that it changes every year because the valuation of the tax base changes as properties are added to or removed from the tax rolls. In addition, properties are revalued to reflect current market value on a periodic basis. The final step in determining the new levy limit for a year is to compare the subtotal, our preliminary limit, that results from increasing last year's levy limit by the annual 2.5% and new growth factors to the levy ceiling. The levy ceiling is the lesser of the two numbers. The subtotal is the new levy limit for this year so long as it is below or at most equals the levy ceiling for the year. To illustrate, go back to our example of the basic levy limit calculation. Last year's levy limit was $100 million. That $100 million base is first increased by 2.5%. In this case, that would be $2.5 million. Next, we add the dollar amount allowed as new growth. Let us say for illustration purposes that our new growth factor is $2.5 million. If we add our $100 million prior year levy limit base, plus $2.5 million automatic 2.5% increase, plus $2.5 million new growth factor, we arrive at a subtotal of $105 million. Let us also say for illustration purposes that the assessed valuation of the community this year is $10 billion. Multiplying that amount by 2.5%, equals a levy ceiling of $250 million. Clearly, our subtotal of $105 million is below our levy ceiling, and therefore, the community's levy limit is $105 million. If last year's levy limit, as increased by 2.5% and new growth, is more than the levy ceiling for the year, then the ceiling becomes this year's levy limit. Why? As we explained before, the levy limit must fit within the levy ceiling for the year. In the earlier example, if our subtotal had been $265 million instead of $105 million, then the community's levy limit would be $250 million. This highly unusual circumstance is unlikely to affect most communities. The reason is that the total assessed valuation of a community's tax base and therefore, the levy ceiling generally increases over time at a higher rate than the annual levy limit. And therefore, the ceiling increases at more than a sufficient rate to accommodate the two annual increases in the limit. As we have seen, the levy limit establishes the maximum amount of property tax revenues a community will ordinarily have for budgeting purposes each year.